Hello and welcome back to I've Had Worse and today I'm trying Bulmer's Original. And I don't think I've had this. And I say I don't think I've had it. 30 plus years ago, I visited Bulmer's Cider Museum in Hereford. And I distinctly remember having Bulmer's Bull Star, which was one of their vintage ciders. And I suspect I may well have had a pint of this, but don't quote me on that. I certainly haven't had it for a long while. So we have here a Hereford cider. Um, and then when I was looking at that there internet to try and find out more atrocious pouring, it's very fizzy, as you'd expect. Let that settle for a bit. Okay, it comes in a stonking 500ml bottle. I'm trying really hard to talk and not spill this. Okay, so it comes in a stonking 500ml bottle. It's a 4.5% um, by vo alcohol by volume. It's got all sorts of fancy, they've rebranded themselves um, a couple of years ago and it's got a uh, number nine bespoke recipe. Um, it's got um, a little sort of F&P Bulmer's Cider Making Pioneers um, logo on the back, uh, you know, Fred and Percy Bulmer. Um, and the bottle's sort of embossed with a HP Bulmer Limited Hereford Cider. Oh, sounds like it's, you know, a real heritage cider. But there's no heritage logo on it, so it's not geographically protected. And... Even though, you know, cider making pioneers, I suspect this is a manufactured cider. I don't think it's going to be bad, but I don't think it's what I would call a real cider. It says it's made with 100% British apples, but to be called a cider, it only needs to have 35% apple juice. And on the back, just to confirm my suspicions, it says apple juice from concentrate. Well, nothing wrong with that. You know, got a bulk transport liquids, water and sugar. So... It's got some sort of fermented wort or fermented apple juice, which has been diluted during the brewing process with water and sugar added, possibly to aid fermentation. Ah, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad brew. One of my favourite ciders, uh, Scrumpy Jack, is also a manufactured cider. So, crystal clear. No head or a head that's dissipated. Light carbonation. Okay, sort of gold, amber, cider colour. Okay. Roma of apples on the nose. Always a warning flag to me. Traditional ciders, whether it's you buy them in a plastic, you know, a container from a cider farm uh, and some of the Better, I was going to say. Um, more reputable. Uh, repu reputable. I haven't drunk. I, nothing's touched my lips. Ciders. When they're a real cider, they have a slight, slightly funky, Thank slightly you. acidic smell on the nose, and you know you're in for something good. I'm always wary of an apple aroma. Although I have been caught out. Night Cider, Aston Manor, who produced the fine, you know, Frosty Jacks, um, an Amiga cider that was not bad so okay here we go now, this is a medium sweet cider but this is not overly sweet crisp apple little light carbonation Some light tannings there, which give it that sort of like nice sort of bitter. I always think of like a burnt orange, but not orange. That sort of marmalady, just lovely uh, depth to the bitterness, um, but not much. Flavour doesn't linger. It's gone. Okay, so better than I thought. Not, I was expecting a mouthful of sugar. Disappointed that from a company that purports, so it says on the bottle, being around from 1887, um, that they've gone away from a traditional cider into a manufactured cider. So that is disappointing uh, because, you know, 
this is Britain. We produce cider apples. We should be some of the best ciders in the world, and we have some of the best ciders in the world. And they, some of those ciders come out of Hereford, so, you know. But what the hell do I do about mass-producing liquids? And they produce gallons and gallons and gallons of this stuff, and it's very popular, so, you know, what the hell do I know? Okay, would I get this again? It doesn't stack up for me against other manufactured ciders. I'm thinking Strongbow, one of the most popular ciders in the country, one could argue. There are better ciders out there than this. Yeah, so a little bit disappointed. It's inherently drinkable. It's not foul. Um, I said... You, you don't know that it's a four and a half percent. There's no trace of alcohol there, which for a cider is about middle of the road, really. Some of the vintage ciders, uh, some of the Henry Westons that I've tried are seven and above. And, you know, that adds to the flavour and, you know, they're very drinkable. Um, what am I saying? Oh, rambling on again. Not bad. Drinkable. If you offered me one, I would not be offended. Don't think I'm going to rush out and put, you know, fill me trolley at the supermarket with this. Um, so there you go. Bulma's original. If you're interested, give it a go. Cheers.